If you regularly fly or race small 1S powered cine whoops like this one, your batteries, well, they're generally going to be in great condition because you're using them regularly. And batteries like to be used regularly. They don't like sitting idly on the shelf for months at some random voltage. Too high or too low, and they degrade pretty fast. And they end up either all puffy and horrible, or they just don't hold their charge. So you've got to go and buy some replacements. But if you're anything like me, my 1S LiPos tend to sit in my battery box most of the year until the weather's so bad it's time to start flying indoors. So it's very important to store them at the correct storage voltage, which is a little bit tricky for 1S cells. Balanced battery chargers like this are designed to charge and discharge multi-cell LiPos, not single 1S LiPos. So you need a cheap and effective way to charge and storage charge your 1S LiPos. This new Whoop series charge board from ViFlight is just that. You use it with your regular balance charger to charge groups of 1S cells in series. It's a great little series charge board that works really well and it's super cheap. Hello and welcome to the Worldly Bloke channel. This is YouTube, you know what to do. I've covered the benefits of series charging 1S LiPos before. If you check out this link up here for a full explanation. But in a nutshell, a multi-cell LiPo like this 4S pack is just four 1S cells wired in series in one pack with wires soldered between each of the cells connected to this balance lead. And the balance charger's job is to make sure all the cells end up at the same voltage while it's charging. And this includes charging to storage charge or even discharging. So you could make a simple harness like this that hard wires for 1S LiPos in series so you can charge them all at the same time. This is very cheap, but it works. And I sell these ready made up in my shop if you can't be bothered to make your own, but it's really simple. The big problem with this is it's hardwired for four cells. So if you want to charge six 1S LiPos in series, you'll need to make a different cable. But this clever little board, it's a series charge board from Vifly, allows you to charge anything between one and six 1S LiPos in series. You just twiddle this little selector knob to choose how many cells you've got plugged in. Now, this comes in two flavors. I've got another one over here. Let's have a look. Uh, you get one that's got BT2 connectors and one that's got GNB27 connectors, but they've both got PH2 connectors along the edges. So that should pretty much satisfy everyone's needs. And the construction of this is incredibly simple. I really like it because it's not just some boring old box. There's a PCB in the middle with everything soldered to it. And the bread of this sandwich is two laser cut acrylic panels that hold everything together with four standoffs. And the whole board is fused for safety. And you can just twiddle this knob to select how many cells you're charging. And this simple construction is reflected in the price. £15, and that's about $17. And it's available in the Vifly shop at AliExpress. And I'll leave links in the description so that you can check out the latest prices. So let's go and try and charge some LiPos. So I've got four 300 milliamp hour LiPos here. I'm going to plug them in the pH2 connections on the side there. Now I could charge up to six if I wanted to. So you can see these are labelled one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to charge 4S because of four of them. And all we do is charge this, sorry, plug this into our regular 
balance charger and hopefully you can see here, let me get a pointer uh, this is showing the voltage of each of the cells, 1, 2, 3 and 4, they're all sort of around about anywhere between 3.6 and 4 volts the overall voltage of these is 15.6 and I'd like to charge them at 300 milliampere hours because these are 300 milliampere hour cells and there's four of them in series it's just like a 4S pack so we can charge it like it's a 4S pack now these are high voltage LiPos so I'll select that in here my charge is set to auto so it automatically detects as 4S and the end voltage is 4.35 in this case because we're on high voltage LiPos but if this was just a regular LiPo we could choose LiPo and how this works very much depends on your charger but they're all going to be very similar so we'll go back to high voltage LiPos there charge current is 0.3 amps which is 300 milliamp per hour and we just hit start and off it goes it's charging away nice and happily and you can see the internal resistance it looks like cell number one's a bit squiffy that's probably why it's down maybe it needs looking at or even getting rid of and you just charge till it's finished it's fantastic so we'll just stop that for now incredibly simple so I could charge six of these like that so we've now got six of those plugged in there I select six on the little selector knob on the side here we can see the voltages on the balance charger and because this is set to auto you'll see it's picked up the overall voltage is 23.4 so we can start charging again at 300 milliamps because they're in series but the final voltage is 26 volts and there we go charging away quite happily let's just stop that for a minute now I hear you ask what happens if you plug these in incorrectly well first thing to note is although these have got the uh, GMB27 or the uh, the BT um, whatever it is BT 2.0 connectors on here you get the PH2 connectors on the side and that's what I'm using here um, you can't plug both in at once it's one or the other on there so let's plug one in there and one in there and one over here so I think I'm going to charge three so I'll pick th three S on there you can see that these are all over the place and what happens if I try to charge it I'm going to get an error because the balance charger knows that something's wrong something's in the wrong place in the wiring of these similarly if I plug these three in here so they're correct so we've got one two and three but let's say I pick 5s on the selector switch there start charging it says that the overall voltage on here doesn't match what's on there because it's trying to use all five balance leads or balance connections so it's pretty fail safe and because it's fused it's all very good I really like Vifly products they're always incredibly useful well made and at a great price and this series charge board is no exception now I've been using this for the last few days bringing my Cinewoop LiPos out of hibernation and it just works as you'd expect it's fantastic as always thanks for watching and if you found this helpful why not subscribe or maybe buy me a coffee to support the channel it'd be very much appreciated and I'll see you next time